Good morning guys and welcome to our final day here in Orlando. So we've got about six or seven hours until we need to go and catch the plane tonight. So we've ditched the big cameras. All we're rocking with today is this GoPro here and my phone. Because yesterday we spent the whole day going around all the Harry Potter stuff at Universal Islands Adventures and Universal Studios. Today we're going to try and do all the other rides in a limited time we have just using the GoPro and the phone. The only thing is we can't record any of the rides because they have some policy here at Universal where you can't GoPro any of the rides. So we'll record as much as we can up to the rides and the GoPro will get away and then I'll give you a quick review after we jump off. First stop is the Rip Rocket. Rip rocket done. Again, the video thing on the ride wasn't working, so I'm not able to show you what I was like riding down that. Next though, we're oh, heading over to the Mermy before we head over to Diagon Alley to have breakfast with Harry Potter. So the Mummy ride is definitely one of the best rides here at uh, Universal Studios. The fact that you're indoors and you can't see where you're going, it's a bit like Space Mountain at Disney. Now we're we'll after Diagonal Alley to get some breakfast with Harry Potter. Yeah, like Good, thank you. Please. Thank you. Want to fill? Blue. Number six. Perfect, thank you. Morning. Can I go for the traditional breakfast, please? Can I get no grilled tomatoes and no satay mushrooms, please? And what drink does it come with? Any of the bottom ones? Uh, any. Except for alcohol or gilly water. It's not your phone, is it? No, no, no. May I have some orange juice, please? Yeah, would you like the regular orange juice or the otter fizzy orange juice? Oh, just, uh, just normal orange juice. What's the Done. It was great to have some proper bacon for a change. Now we're going to make our way around Diagon Alley a little bit more before we catch the train back over to Islands of Adventure. For an April now.
Ich habe noch Ich habe Okay. So we've just caught the train over to Hogsmead. Next up, we're going to go and try the butter beer, and then we're going to make our way all around the other attractions, starting off with Jurassic Park. We get two. Thank you. Oh, right, thank you.
Okay, the butter beer actually tastes really nice. It tastes a bit like toffee, but I don't know if you can hear the music in the background. That's Jurassic Park theme song, so we're gonna make our way round over now to Jurassic Park. We went on Jurassic Park the other day, but we sat at the back the last time. This time we sat right on the front, as you just saw from that video then, and we got way wetter. Next one is we're gonna be flying with the rafters. Okay, so we're not getting on the Peridon flyers. As she said, we need to have a child with us. So let's make our way round. Seeing as we're all ready, you we might as well do the Ripsaw Falls next. Definitely one of the best water rides here in Orlando. It's one that you definitely get the most wettest on. how dead it is, because everybody was on Hogwarts, on um, Hagrid. Okay, so time for the final ride of the morning. I know I definitely can't take the GoPro or any cameras inside the Hulk, so I'll get a few shots of outside the Hulk for you while I go on at the same time. I 
on the other camera. Let's hope there's a thing for Jack. Should we pay at the front? Pardon me? Pay at the front? Uh, or on the porch to your left. Oh, thank you. Packing done. I'll, I'll get in here. Oh, I'll close it, you know, thank okay. you. So after an eight hour flight all the way from Orlando to Gatwick, then we had to go with the taxi again from Gatwick down to Holly's mum's house, and then a two hour drive then all the way back to Cardiff. We are officially home. We are all super tired now. I'm ready for bed. I'm being back in the UK. It is absolutely freezing already. I've already got my trousers on. I've got my hoodies on. I've got almost two t-shirts on because it is just so cold being back. But what an amazing holiday it has been. So if I'm going to end it on right here for anybody watching this who's thinking of going, I would definitely recommend having two or three days at least in each one of the parks because every park, there's so much to do. There's so much I definitely know that we missed. If you're going to get on the rides and you don't have those fast passes and you're going to be queuing for such a long time too. So if you're going to go over there because this vlog's inspired you or the other videos have inspired you, make sure you have at least two to three days in each of the parks to try and experience and try out everything they've got there. Thanks for watching these vlogs. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that below. And we look forward to seeing you in all the other vlogs we've got coming up over the next couple of weeks. Cheers.